Welcome to this series. My name is Dr. Fernando Javier Diaz Lopez, and I work for the Netherlands Organization for Applied Scientific Research, TNO, in the Netherlands. I am also Associate Professor Extraordinary at Stellenbosch University in South Africa, and I am the Director of the Innovation for Sustainable Development Network, an initiative funded by the European Commission. In this series, we will talk about the fundamentals of innovation for sustainable development. We will focus on the area of eco-innovation, also known as green innovation, environmentally sustainable innovation, environmentally driven innovation, ecological innovation, clean tech innovation, circular innovation, and you name it. I would like to tell you something about myself, and I also would like to tell you something about the organization I work for. Um, I have been doing research, uh, consultancy and advice on this topic for about 15 years. Uh, when I first graduated from university, I, I, I was interested in environmental, in environmental um, topics, but there was no such a thing as sustainable development management or sustainable development sciences back in my home country in Mexico. For this reason, I had to, I had to find my way around and, and I went from, from, a, from an engineering background uh, to study environmental, environmental issues in industry. Uh, then I went to study economics and management of innovation and then policies for sustainable industrial development. So by doing it so, I guess it's, it's part of what this topic is about. This, this topic is highly uh, multidisciplinary. It, it is a field in the making and to a large extent, the knowledge base is still under construction. Um, one of the first things that I have uh, noticed in, in, in all of these years uh, doing eco-innovation research is that policy practice, in particular regulation, uh, inst institutional change, meaning the norms, the routines, the, 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 the rules of the game, have very often go slightly behind technological developments and technological developments bring about organizational change and other, top, other type of institutional behavioral changes. So this is a, a, a multiple, um, this is a multiple variable, multiple topic uh, subject that is better understood from a holistic and systemic perspective for the reason is that in the study and in the, in the practice of doing eco-innovation it is recommended that such a multidisciplinary approach is always kept in mind. The topic of innovation for sustainable development has um, received a lot of interest and a, a lot of uh, uh, entities have expressed uh, their support to, to, to this topic uh, in recent years. It is no surprise that the highest political forums like the World Bank, the European Commission, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the United Nations Framework for Climate uh, Change, uh, among many others, they are interested in uh, promoting uh, the implementation of solutions that can help to achieve uh, the sustainable development goals, uh, to help reducing the degradation of the natural ecosystems to bring stabilization to climate in terms of climate change adaptation and mitigation and, and uh, manifold expectations have been created around these topics but this is not this is not something new uh, modern society or the modern understanding of this topic can be tracked back to 1970s where the environmental crises and, 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 and social concerns and, and, and community uh, put pressure on, on industry and government because of a number of environmental accidents. And back then, uh, this topic was merely related to technology. Technology has implications and, and, and technology can be the solution of things. And nowadays, uh, this topic has changed quite a lot because uh, innovation is seen as a real economic multiplier, meaning it it's seen as, 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 a, as a process and as an object, as an, as a mean and as an end that can actually create jobs, uh, contribute to employment in a number of sectors with uh, higher rates of growth than manufacturing sectors. Uh, it is also seen as a, as a way of producing high added value to the economy. Uh, because uh, of the, the rents and, and the market that is helping to achieve to those 
that are in the front run of, of, uh, of technological developments. And it's also seen as a solution to uh, the issue of the externalities created from mm, the production and distribution and consumption of goods and services. So it is not surprised that, that, that uh, this topic is uh, now everywhere. Whether you have heard about eco-innovation, green innovation, social innovation, frugal innovation, uh, it is all somehow related to changing the living conditions of people, increasing uh, health for communities, or whether it is for uh, stopping environmental degradation, or fighting pollution, or stopping uh, the emission of, of, of greenhouse gases. Everywhere you hear that innovation has a role to play. But what is innovation, and why is suddenly innovation so important? And is this a new thing? Is this something that we can actually do? Uh, what is the role of society? What is the role of civil society? What is the role of research and academia? What is the role of educators? What is the role of policymakers? What is the role of business? In this series, we will try to give an answer to many of these questions. We, we aim uh, to provide you with a basic understanding of the context of this topic of innovation for sustainable development, and in particular, uh, the eco uh, innovation part of it. We will also uh, present uh, some of the of the drivers and some of the of the of the elements that have been uh, fostering and, and and helping to 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 disseminate the knowledge around this type of innovation. We also bring you a few perspectives. We will bring you the academic perspective. We will bring you the business perspective and we'll bring you the government perspective. Why is it that this topic is relevant to all of them? And why these uh, different uh, stakeholder groups or stakeholders or, or areas of, of knowledge or areas of intervention, depending where, you, where, where you're coming from, why is, is, is this a, a, an achievable mean and an achievable target? Because uh, it is, it is no surprise that everybody is interested. We will give you some examples, examples of, of success stories. We will give examples of failures. We will give you an overview of how government can bring about change. And we will give you an idea how to build a business case for innovation. Now, uh, finally, in this series, we will also discuss why is this topic relevant for the Sustainable Development Goals Agenda. In, in the next uh, minutes, you will have the opportunity to gain some knowledge, but remember, if you would want to join uh, this vibrant network and if you would like to uh, exchange and interact with us, please, uh, you can write to the email that is um, provided and certainly it is of interest to learn what you have to say after having listened to this, uh, to this series.